One, two, three, four, five. All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Solo Chemist. Last episode, we just totally blazed through Saint Marone's Temple, very easy. We only had like what two resets: one on the Vormov battle and one on the Zalbag battle. And so, more things going on. We are going to put our Vanish battle on, but we are going to now enter the deep dungeons for our side quest section. I wanted to actually get the little cutscene of us unlocking it here, so I don't know. I thought it'd be cool. But instead of leveling up in that first fight of the last set of battles, we are going to level up here in the deep dungeons. Because I figured it would be more interesting to watch than six hours of me shooting a, chem a knight and then him potioning, you know? This job's been a great success. Not to brag, but you can all thank me. I don't know, healing is always good, isn't it? The Legend of the Island's Treasure. Ooh, fancy. I don't feel like reading any more of this. I just like that white mage being sassy. They're like, so me. I like that white mage. She's cool. Oh, I wish it was a show. It was entertaining. Totally smacked that guy. Sassy white mage. I wish she had a name. That's mainly why I wanted to watch that cutscene. Anywho, the deep dungeons are now active. So we are going to save. And we are going to charge in take on the deep dungeons I actually would like to go and attempt at taking on the Serpentarius guy I can't remember his name something with an E but I think that would be a very fun little side quest to see if solo chemist can really do it all right let me check the map and see where things are so there's a treasure here We're only going to go for one treasure at a time, because it's still based on our brave. But pretty much, we're going to start, move in, try and get the item, and then if we don't get it, then we're going to reset, and then so on and so forth. So this is going to be a fun process of trying to level up, as well as getting some special items. Particularly, we can get our magic guns, the ones we didn't get farming and um see the first one should be right here i believe so this is going to be fun to watch how i hope my crappy recording thing can record this since it's all dark just hoping it doesn't look like crap probably will but so it's not going to be too hard to farm these or not farm but ex excavate that's probably a better word since we're moving finding them. Move finding. What would be turning that into a verb? Move finding? Moving finding? Whatever. But vanish mantle, move, get the item. And then once we get it, we win the battle and then retry again. And of course we need to find the exit. According to this guide, it says there's five possible locations for the exit so the only thing about leveling up down here as opposed to in that one area is that it's gonna affect how many potions we have Phoenix down not what we want because says the exit's at 3-9. It has like a grid, but looking at 3-9, that's not really looking like should be oh, 0 1. Oh, it counts zeros as okay. Did I save that we saw the cutscene? I hope I did. Although I would like to see Sassy White Mage again. One of my favorite characters in the whole game for reasons unknown. No, we did. We didn't save. So, 
<clears throat> we're just gonna be doing these resets. The item we're getting from this spot is the um glacier gun. And so the glacier gun. Sounds good to me. I'm trying to find out where these other items are. I don't understand this guide entirely. Um, should be a T wherever items are possibly located, right? That's five, nine, there's one. It says three, zero. Oh, yeah, of course, okay. It was there. Is that just three units? Well, that'll be easy to win. Wait, there's like a bomb there. You can't see because of the darkness. Explosive, whatever. You cannot see that thing at all. Holy crap. What do these guys have? Aren't they usually like higher level than you? Which means we'll definitely be leveling up. He has an ultimate bow. Fancy. Not too fancy though. What do you have? Nothing we care about. Why am I even checking this? I'll check it after we get our item. I don't know, maybe just coming in with like Germina's boots might be better because we'll get there faster. Maybe. That's probably what I'll do. Or we can move find the um, exit as well. Now, after thinking about all this, this doesn't sound as interesting as I thought it would be. Especially when we get, like, Phoenix Downs like that instead of the item we want. Yeah, we're gonna try just putting on Jermina's boots. And just starting... Well, then we'll have to fight people. No, no. We would get to that... Well, no. With Jermina's boots, we would get there. And if we get the item, we can start fighting and get the exit while we're fighting. Yes. Jerminus boots. Jerminus boots. Yes. I don't know, maybe this endeavor isn't as exciting as I thought, though. Jerminus boots. Jerminus. There you are. And then I might just use, um, like, the, um, mithril gun instead of our stone or magic gun, just so that, um... It'll take longer, and we'll get more shots in, more experience, you know? So there's a possibility for that as well. <laughs> Which I probably should just equip it, since I don't have to equip change off of Vanish Mantle or anything. A lot of units. Maybe I won't do that. Holy crap. I mean, I could. I can tank the damage. Can't see anything in this darkness. supposed to be higher level they're like at my level well they are technically higher not a lot higher and where do these random human units come from wouldn't you be kind of freaked out being like down here with monsters I mean come on and how do you become their I don't know what are bombs weak against not ice I don't think There we go. That's what we want. A glacier gun. So we just have to make sure not getting on any of the other. Absorbs fire, cancels earth, ice is half, water weakness. Yeah. We're just gonna stone gun it up. And 
We'll keep Dramina's boots. Alright, now let's check where the exits are. There's a possibility, one out of five, that these butts can be an exit. It seems pretty jank to me. <coughs> let's see where they are. Three, nine, which is way up there. We have six, eight, which is way up there. We have an overlay in the corner. There's eight and one over there. So they're all on like the other side of the map. That's nice. <coughs> well, time to start getting over there and make sure we don't run into any of the other item spots because we don't want to miss our chances on an item that we want. And of course I'm blocked in, so there's nothing I can do anyway. 360. Can't one-shot either of those guys. I can kill that guy. Double turn him. Actually, what's his speed? Alright, so much for double turning him. Alright, so let's see. He's gonna attack and then move. Maybe a mantle would be good if I'm gonna have to be dealing with all these guys all, all upon me. Maybe, maybe not. But. Hopefully this does end up being more exciting than leveling up, but either way, we are going to be needing to come down here. We want secret clothes. Which is on the 6th floor, I believe. It's 1st and 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. That's not the 6th. Where are the secret clothes? There they are. Yeah. They're on the 6th floor. Alright, sorry. Checking stuff. There's a move find item there, but we don't want to try and get it. It's an elixir. How can these guys move? They're ridiculous. Jump and whatnot. Everyone's out of range. I should have shot before I moved. X potion. <coughs> We're low on health. Don't want to rely totally on auto potion. These dang panthers. And that knight worries me just a little bit, just because knights are strong. So they're blocking me in. Not surprising. Oh, 5% dodge. So pro. So where am I? I'm right there. Just trying to find out where are these exits. All of them are on that bottom half, so I don't need to worry too much about it yet. I'm going to try that one up there first, okay. Auto potion is doing us well. Alright. Good thing he's the weak one. Nope, can't move. Hopefully auto potion doesn't screw us over. Because we need auto potion. Because these guys are relatively strong. This isn't like a piss easy battle. We actually have to worry a little bit. Auto potion seems to be doing us well though so far, so there's two people we can one shot. And the guy blocked my path like a butt. I could kill this guy to my right. Another 95% dodge. Or 5% dodge, sorry. Talk about lucky. Why can't I get lucky later? And of course, my curiosity makes me wonder, what are the chances of that? So 
0 0.05 times 0 0.05. So that's a 0.25% chance of that happening. I mean, it, well, in a row, technically, but. There we go. Sure gets out of my way. That's the possible spot for an exit, so we're going to move there. What I, accessory do I have on? Germanus boots. One, two, three. Ooh. Yeah, as I said, that night is dangerous. I probably shouldn't, like, just kind of go around like no one, like I'm invincible. <laughs> Because as you know, we're not. And we missed the auto potion, which means death. As I said, we shouldn't go around like I'm invincible. All these panthers. And we got our freaking magic gun too. Gay. Gay. We can get this though. I don't know, maybe sprint shoes would be better. Ah, frick. We don't want a new game. Not this far in. Most SSCCs don't even have this endeavor of having to deal with the deep dungeons. But having secret clothes is going to be very important for us. I think it might help in the bulk fight. Because with sprint shoes secret clothes and a thief's hat that's five extra speed we'll have plus don't we get a speed point soon yeah we get a speed point at 69 your germanus boots yeah we can't just click the stone gun yet we can save right here can't we yeah Alright, let's try this once more. We're gonna have to get lucky with getting the glacier gun again. So exciting, I know. Jermina's boots, blaze gun. We'll equip to the stone gun. Unless, if they're goblins there, because they're weak against ice, we'll keep the blaze gun. Of course, we'll have fire now, too, once we get that glacier gun. And the blast gun is on the same floor that um, the secret clothes are on, I believe. Tigris? Or tiger? Yeah. Yeah, that's the blast gun down there. So yeah. We only have we have two items we want to farm here. The um There's an elixir here and there's the glacier gun. There's a um blaze gun here as well, but we already have one of those, so That's not too important. Two knights, three bombs, a goblin, and two panther guys. Panther guys are going first, and then the knights. The only thing that matters is their compat. So, goblin's bad compat. Good compat with the bomb, so that's a one shot. Neutral. Um, neutral. It's Pisces. He's good compat, so I didn't see what his health was. Well, thanks for moving beside me, you jerk. He's running that way. I'm trying to get an item. These bastard panthers. <sighs> Gay ass panthers. Fine, I'll kill you first. If you want to die so badly, I won't hold back, hold you back from your awkward, nameless grave. What are their speeds? Ten. I can double turn this guy. So shoot. 
wait. And then we'll shoot again. We'll move over. Hopefully get the glacier gun, but, I mean, not too lucky, which is why I didn't want those panthers in my face. I thought Phoenix down so yeah I just need to be more cautious I was being reckless before hopefully we can get through this battle twice in one video and then we'll have the first floor done getting the elixir and our glacier gun <clears throat> so maybe one video can be each floor that would be cool Of course, I always could just come in with the Vanish Mantle until I find the exit and everything, but I just feel like that's going to be more boring. So we're just going to go ahead and, you know, start kill off people while we move find. So, we might do differently in different battles, but for this one, that's how it's going to go. And I am excited about trying to take on Serpentarius Guy, Solo Chemist. That's going to be fun. Very fun. So, Knight, Archer, Goblin, and uh, Squid Guy. Only four people. I probably want to leave the Goblin alive. The others will just, whatever. Bad Compat. Bad Compat. Stupid rock. Iron, that's not really the rock in the way. Well, whatever. I could leave the archer alive for night. Neutral compat. I might do that. Kill everyone but the archer. Ha, ah, you got a trap. That's where the um, elixir is. The same place where traps are is where. Um. Frickin' Phoenix down. I want to kill this guy, though. He's back up pad, isn't he? So that means I can't kill him, so whatever. I just don't want to shoot him, though. Oh, I still have my ice gun, no wonder. Whatever. I was like, what? It's that damage. An ice 3 would have killed him, though. He's weak against ice, so the back up pad didn't make too much of a difference. I forgot, we can't just come in with our stone gun equipped. That equals bad news. This should be interesting. Now. I'm excited about all this deep dungeon stuff. It's probably going to take longer than I would like with all the move finding and stuff. And then having to win the battles. Because depending on how many items we went on each floor. Well, there aren't any items we went on any of the floors except for the magic guns and secret clothes. Oh, and elixirs. Which, a lot of these floors do have elixirs. How many elixirs do I need? All goblins, which means ice gun stays. It looks like there's at least one elixir on every floor. A lot of them have two elixirs, from what I'm looking at. Nope, can't shoot anyone. Yep, all these places all have at least one elixir. I'm not sure how many elixirs we even need, really. Glacier done! There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and rip through this battle. We technically don't need to find the um, exit now, because we're coming back for that elixir. 
I guess we are. We can come back for elixirs later, I suppose. I might do that. We'll see what kind of level we're at. And then we can decide if we need to come back for elixirs or not. It's darn terrain. So, yeah, we're going to skip the elixir, so we're just going to... We got our glacier gun, so we're just going to start looking for the exits. Or the exit. According to this guide, there's like one of five places it can be. That's the first one. So, we'll get the other ones later at some point. It's nice to do 196 with just neutral compat. Or bad compat, sorry. These guys are weak against ice, so we'll be able to rip through them relatively easy with our blaze gun. So this battle shouldn't be e difficult at all. Oh no, I can get hit. 77. They should be like super goblins. It's kind of disappointing that they're just easy goblins, you know? Nope, no exit. Anyone. Which means the spot's a no. I think it's like random. Really? Got death sentence, so now I don't even have to worry about him. How nice of you. Which spot did he get on? That one, okay, that's where he is. See, other exits are like. There's one here. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. And there's one there. Possibility. Put this guy in critical. Or possibly kill him. Nope, just critical. So yeah, battle with just four goblins. We can handle that anywhere. 50. Well, you're much stronger than your friend. And we gotta make sure we don't step on any of the spots with all um, items. Do I have good compat with any of them? I have good compat with that guy. Why can't I get any twos? That's not a spot, is it? Nah. Oh, come on. I needed that auto potion. This guy could probably kill me now. Very close. We're gonna run and heal. This third guy can't hit us, so. Or he didn't even get a turn. Um, where am I? Right there. Right there. So, one, two, one, two. I'm gonna move there. Healing. I hate that we have to check all these spots. Dumb. <laughs> he fell asleep. So this is possible. Nope. Can't shoot anyone. Is it really possible to like? There are different locations for this junk. I think this is just annoying and gay. Three spots. Let's 
still nothing. Don't oh, worry. One, two, three. Okay, four. okay, we're here. Wait, I want to shoot first. Still only getting nice ones. Not lucky. So one, two, three, four. So we move down four now. This is one of the spot. That means there's only one possible spot for it to be. So two guys in critical. That's all the spots that it says it could be the exit. Is this guide lying to me? Because I was already on one of them. Apparently. Okay, here's the corner I went. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alright. Here's the corner. One. Here and there. Boom, three, three, three. So he's gonna start coming because everyone's in critical now. There we go, the last spot we checked. Alrighty, we'll come back at some other point for the elixir. I'm kind of annoyed with this. Wait, that's not an item, is it? No. The item's there. Can't reach him yet. Come on down! Ether. And GG. First floor of the deep dungeons completed. We gained a level, only one. Kind of depressing thinking we need to get to 99 this way. Maybe doing the whatever other way would be faster. Either way, I still want to get the Serpentarius guy, and we do need to get our secret clothes and our blast gun. So, we're going to be going down further for a little bit. So, we're going to save. We'll just save on these two down here. We'll keep the other two up there just because. So, there we are. That was the first floor of the Deep Dungeons, and we'll be continuing our descent in the next episode.